Hello folks, we're going to continue on with our DAV layout in ductwork. So um, I'm going to step back here. I didn't show you how to do that correctly with the flex. I didn't see it. I'm losing, getting blind, I guess. But anyway, we're going to continue on now. Here, you know, these are above the uh, the ceiling. So we can move this guy around and put him right, right there. And then again, what you do is you just select it. And you're going to get the 16 by 12. We're going to draw pipe, draw duct. But here we want to use the, I think we're going to use the 12 inch here because it's the conference room. And the bigger the duct size, the uh, quieter it is, I think. I'm not a mechanical guy, so don't quote me. So I'll just pull this guy right about. I think this is a good point. And I'll draw my taps. Just draw one from there to there. And do one from here to here. And the same from there. there. I don't know what's happening here, but we can look at that and say, so then I just select the end here, and then there's my flex duct, and just place it like that. I don't know why I didn't see that before. I need new glasses, I guess. Draw flex to there. Okay, so same here. And then, of course, um, you create the system. Draw flex So this is the manual way of how to do this. Sometimes you would have people do these. Let me see what's going on here. Taps. Okay. Okay, that's what we want. Now, again, we can go and look in our section view just to see where we are uh, with this I'm gonna do a section right through here let's see what's going on here okay so there's our VAB boxes and that's the one we just did so I'm gonna go back and get the rest of these guys in here uh, so for this one we're gonna go with the 10 inch and then here we set this to 10. And I'm going to push this all the way down to here. And I think I'm going to tap out of here at some point. Yeah, and there we are like that. And then I'll do my taps here and do one, just one here. Okay, wait a second. Systems. Okay, I think I'm doing a scan in the background. That's why this thing is. Yeah, I'll tap out of here. Yep, right there. And then from here, I'll do my flex. Imagine. It's a little stretch, but this is basically what you have to do. It's not anything, you know. So we're moving along here. So like in this room here now, um, it's a little dicey here. So this is, we're above the ceiling. So how would I tackle that? Okay, I'm going to, can't move these, but we can move this. So let's see if we can work with this. Let's go right here. Tell you what I'll do. I'll push this guy right there. Because I need a straight run. I might have to move him way up here. Or... 
I can move this duck on grid. Let's just try it out and see what happens here. I'm going to take all day on this video. Uh, our duck will go with the 8 inch again. We'll go with the 10 here. Yeah, I'll take this guy. I'll just do this. See if this will work here. And I'll go tap here when it pick up that one. And then I'll flex to that one. So this might work. So I'm going to tap here out. Put it there. And I should be good. So I should go flex from here. I'd be able to let me know if this works or not, trust me. Okay, and I'll do one there. And we'll put one here. Actually, we can even bring this back a bit, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll be good right out there. And then I'll just go draw my flex stuff. So basically, that's how you do these. I just didn't get it right the first time. I didn't uh, get to practice. <laughs> so here again, we'll do the same thing. This will be another, we'll draw a duck here, and this will be a 10. Uh, let me go with 10. Let me take this to here. Actually, I'm going to move it over a bit. Now I'll take it, draw a duck. And this will be a 10 inch. I don't know what that one it was before. We'll see now. So we'll do a 10. We'll go right to there. It'll be my main run. Actually, I can put it back because I'm going to flex off that edge. Wow. This one, yeah, how do I get there? We'll have to do something creative here. So I'll go that way. Yeah. So then I can actually bend like that. I hope. Right. And then here, I just need one run off of here. So they, hey, guys, yeah, so this is how you lay this out. I'm not going to. Uh, do the whole floor with you, you can do the rest because we got another floor. So, but now the next video we're going to look at, uh, we're going to start looking at the uh, plumbing. Just uh, uh, how to do the plumbing in this building. So we got, a, this is our first of the MVP portions of this, uh, pro of this uh, project. So we're going to go there. And it's flex off of this one here like that. I don't know why I don't want to see that. <laughs> okay, so there's part of our layout. I'm going to finish this up. Let's go to see what's happening in our section view. Okay, that's going good. And let's see if I can pick this up in 3D. Actually, I can. I can go orient to view. Let's go to floor plans. Let's go to level one HVAC. I don't know why this thing. So now we don't actually see them here. Let me see if I can hide the ceiling. Will we see it? Let's go. Yeah, I see them down in there now. So we're going to hide this category. Uh, hide this one. I'm pretty sure we have a. a let me just isolate it. There you go. Okay, so those are just the uh, the fittings. But anyway, uh, we'll go back in our section view here, and there's our 
ductwork. Actually, we can orient, orient this in uh, a 3D view, I believe. So we see orient to view, sections, uh, section one. Yeah, okay. So there's our section and there's our ductwork that we've just worked on. So hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Let me see if this is realistic. And we'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you haven't started with this series, please start from the beginning. It's very good. So hey guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And everybody be safe. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come on, guys. They locked me up here. Okay. <laughs>